Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome to Orcs Must Die. Uh, pardon the lighting. It's the middle of the night because, um... Oh, by the way. <laughs> I'll, I've also done decent on Nightmare, but, um... I, uh... I have five schooled everything except for Finale. Just because I'm cool like that, I guess. Um, I love this game. This game came out in like 2011 or 2012. Let me let you hear the story here. I've spent 300 years fighting for the Order. I've killed thousands of orcs and defended dozens of rifts. And this is how it ends. One slip and a kobold's blood, and my skull cracks open on the gatehouse steps. So now the task of defending this fortress falls to my... apprentice. That's it, then. The world is doomed. <laughs> it's all up to me now. Rest well, crazy old man. First things first. Let's see what he left me in this spell book. So because I've beaten this game already... Sorry, this game's very loud. Has a great deal of music going on. Has a great deal of, you know, sound effects of orcs being gotten. Alright, sorry. So, I've actually already beaten this game, as, as you noticed. I've killed, you know, 30,000 orcs. Just take all the reliables, you know? Yeah, that's probably all I need. The thing is, is that at this point I do so much damage and I have enough practice with aiming that I probably don't really need all that much to defend. So when Orcs Must Die came out, I wasn't really that into fantasy. But it's so fun of a game that it's really hard to just not enjoy it straight up and down. Um, it's just legitimately a very, very enjoyable game. Um, and it does so many things right. Like, this art design is really good. It is a little, you know, generic, a little World of Warcrafty, a little EverQuesty. You know, the protagonist is incredibly boring. His primary, like, interesting character trait is how cocksure and full of himself he is, which... It's not particularly super, you know, interesting and diverse of a character. But the thing is that I like him. He's so generic he wasn't even named until the third game. Which is to say, uh, the third game that came out. So in Orcs Must Die, naturally, you have health and mana. Primary fire is, is free for your generic stuff and for your magical things like this wind belt. It costs a little more, you can see. It costs some mana. And then everything is a secondary fire, so I can pick this guy up and drop him on things. And I can knock dudes away with that. And I can, um, I can, yeah, I can confuse him. And then, in addition to traps, you can also summon, uh, 
helpers, which is cool. This is the first level. It's nothing, you know, it's nothing interesting, really. So, obviously, that's the big, that's the footfall over there. That's the big target that everyone's running towards. But yeah, I really always liked this game. Um, and the sequel's really good, too. This game, looking back, the sequel is, is a little... A little strange. Because the sequel has so... So many fewer things going on with it. Uh, the sequel has so many fewer things actually going on with it. Or, um, the, this... This game has so many fewer things going on with it, rather. That it almost seems like basic because when you look at this compared to the sequel like the sequel is longer the sequel has more diverse traps the sequel has better graphics it has multiple characters to play as it has a lot more stuff going on. it even has like character development there's not a lot of character development in this game but I still really do like this game it's really good Dead simple. Just don't screw it up. You can see a great deal of good statistics. All right. All right, back in. Oops. Don't worry about that.